Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to give you a little tip today regarding the Apple Watch update. So depending on when you're watching this video, Apple released two updates for the Apple Watch. I tried to download and update the first update and it got stuck in the verify screen. So I went online and kind of looked for some ideas with it. So they said, you know, shut off, restart your the, the phone, restart the Apple Watch, re-download. I tried unpairing and repairing my Apple Watch and I couldn't download and it wouldn't download. Well, it would download, but it wouldn't install and I would always get stuck in the verification screen. So one of the options was to wait for another update. So I just figured I'll just wait for another update to see if that would fix the issue or not. And Apple did release another update a couple days later. I did the same thing. I went in and tried to download and install and it got stuck on the verification screen and it would not allow me to update my watch. So getting really frustrated. Well, one of the things that was recommended in a couple of the articles I read was to remove your passcodes. So the first thing I did is I went into my Apple uh, watch application and remove the passcode. And sure enough, I was able to go ahead and uh, download, install, and the Apple Watch was updated completely. So I would recommend that if you're having trouble with the Apple Watch update, that the first thing you do is go into your Apple Watch app and turn off passcodes. So let's just, I'll do a quick video on how you go about doing that to get into your uh, Apple Watch app passcodes and turn that off. So wherever you got your Apple Watch app, go ahead and open up that app. And if you just kind of scroll so that the screen, I guess if you're scrolling down or moving the screen up, you'll see a option that says passcode. So you just go ahead and click on passcode. Uh, in my particular case, my passcode is off. And so if the, the, the top line there, if you do have a passcode on your watch, just hit that and turn off the passcode and follow the options that will show up on your screen to turn that off. Go ahead and try to download and install your app from there. And hopefully with any luck, it'll just go ahead and update. And then that's what happened with me. And it does stop you from you know, throwing your Apple Watch out the window. So I hope that helps. Yeah, just go ahead and shut off that passcode on your watch and give that a try. Um, and hopefully that'll take care of it for you. All right, thanks for watching.